All right, guys, so with the Super Bowl upcoming, I thought it would be a fun little video idea to go back and take a look at all of the different uh, NFL television scoreboards that were used for the Super Bowl going all the way back to 2007. Of course, the Super Bowl rotates between CBS, Fox, and NBC. It's funny, somebody actually had like a viral tweet and they used one of the thumbnails that I had made for a previous like NFL scoreboard video. It was almost like Inception. I was like, I think I remember that. I, I remember making that. But yeah, I thought I would just kind of branch off of that and do another one of these. Just reaction to old scoreboards, go through the older Super Bowls, beginning all the way back in 2007. That's where we're going to start. You've got this Fox horizontal scoreboard going across the top. This is definitely a lot of nostalgia. Probably a little bit young for me, honestly, but I do remember this one pretty vividly. You know, it, it was an iconic Fox scoreboard. They also used the exact same format for baseball on Fox. You can see this was the first Giants-Patriots game. The Patriots entering this one. The perfect, what were they, 18-0 at the time, trying to go 19-0, and they lose to the Giants' surprisingly low-scoring game in that one. Moving on to the next one, it was NBC. Taking a look, that's a nice scoreboard there at the bottom, especially for like around 2008. I, the one thing I'll say about this game, this was when Larry Fitzgerald was a beast. They had Kurt Warner. They were taking on Big Ben and the Steelers. And the, the camera angle for this game was so strange. I went back and I got these photos and I was like, where is this game being played? Because the camera, the view was so zoomed in. This was at Raymond James Stadium, but I don't know if it was just like something they were trying with the Super Bowl. I mean, it is a good scoreboard. Normally with scoreboards, I look for how vibrant they are. Do they have the team's colors? Do they have the team logo? Are they a decent font? And this one really checks every box. Nowadays, obviously, the graphics are a little bit subpar, but generally that's a solid scoreboard right there. Uh, moving on to the next one, this, the CBS had the best ones, man. CBS, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees. Peyton Manning throws the late pick six. The Saints win the Super Bowl. And this was another great scoreboard. I just love the graphic design, just how it looks. I don't know why, but CBS always had the best scoreboard. That's a really nice one. A lot of nostalgia there. Oh, that is Sun Life Stadium before the renovation. Yes, that's where that Super Bowl was. And then this one, the only time AT&T Stadium, a.k.a. Jerry World, ever hosted a Super Bowl. This is a great scoreboard. It's compact. It's short. It's sweet. It's got the logos. It's got the vibe vibrant colors. It's got the nice little timeouts lit up in almost kind of a silver color. What a beautiful scoreboard that is. Like 2011. And this was Aaron Rodgers' only Super Bowl win. That's crazy that it's Aaron Rodgers' really only Super Bowl appearance that early in his career. They went out to a big early lead against the Steelers and they ended up hanging on at the end. And the Packers, what a Super Bowl matchup that is. Brand new AT&T Stadium, Steelers-Packers. There's a lot of history there. And then this is the part two of the Giants-Patriots game. Shout out to the Giants. You got a safety, a little 2-0 lead there. And this is another NBC scoreboard. I think it's, it's solid. There's nothing crazy. It feels like they stuck with this scoreboard for like five years, NBC did. This one, this one went on for a while, and again, I, I kind of like the mechanism, the way it worked, the way it went up and down in terms of changing the downs and things like that. I thought it was pretty good. This was another, this is peak CBS, amazing. Remember this, this game though? Colin Kaepernick, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco somehow beats Peyton Manning in Denver, the pass to Jacoby Jones, and then this Super Bowl at the Superdome. In New Orleans, the lights turn off to start the second half, and what a great scoreboard that is. The colors, it's like they just slightly upgraded their previous one, and it looks amazing. Honestly, if CBS decided to go back to this, like this next year, I would, I mean, that would be beautiful. It's, it's an amazing scoreboard, uh, and, and they've kind of downgraded since then. And then this wacko of a game, randomly played at MetLife Stadium, Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos, the high-octane offense against the Legion of Boom, and it starts out with a safety. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that scoreboard, personally. I understand a lot of people like it. It's nostalgia. I get it. But, like, we're, there's no logos. It's just kind of bland to me, honestly. But it's not the worst thing in the world for Fox. Just taking a look at that one. That game was a complete blowout. 
And then this, the Patriots, Seahawks, the roof in Glendale, Arizona, randomly open, University of Phoenix Stadium, that's what it was called at the time. They never would have the roof open, but because in Arizona, early February with the sun setting, they could open it, very rare, and NBC, that's a really nice scoreboard by NBC. NBC always does, outside of recently, have normally a really good graphics package. I think it got worse recently, which is kind of unfortunate considering NBC's deal with the Big Ten. But yeah, the Legion of Boom, they, they were up 24-14. to Late in the second half, Tom Brady comes back. And then the whole thing at the end with Russell Wilson throwing at the one-yard line. Malcolm Butler with the interception. That was a really good game. Oh, this one... The Carolina Panthers, the MVP Cam Newton. Dude, this scoreboard is so bad. Oh my god. People were saying that they liked this one. It is terrible. It looks like it's from 2004. It just there's something off with the fonts and, and it just looks really bad to me. I don't know. It looks so te- it almost looks like the numbers are too big, you know, in terms of like the 10 to nothing. But yeah, the Von Miller Super Bowl, Peyton Manning's final game. I mean, Peyton Manning was not good his, you know, his final year, but he had a solid Super Bowl and Denver had that crazy defense. I remember Denver's defense in fantasy was just ridiculous. They would always score a defensive touchdown in the regular season. They had a crazy defense. Uh, but yeah, they end up winning that game uh, right there. Uh, and Cam Newton, I mean, that that Carolina team, what did they start, 14-0, maybe 15-0 or something? Uh, they were really stacked. This is a rare one. So this is the one time, normally this happens like with college football, uh, but this is the one time an NFL, you know, like Fox has decided to deviate from their regular season scoreboard and they went with this more, it's almost like a longer scoreboard for the Patriots 28 to 3 comeback against the Falcons. That Falcons team, Matt Ryan, the MVP season, you know, Julio Jones, the crazy catch down the sideline, and they still lose. And James White, the underrated hero of this game. Everyone only talks about Tom Brady, but yeah, you can see the regular scoreboard they used during the regular season. It was very compact, almost just blocky. And then they changed it to a more like vertical look. They spread it out a little bit just for the Super Bowl. So they, uh, this scoreboard, that graphics package only appeared in the Super Bowl. I think it's quite lacking. It's just very, there's just not much to it. You need to include the logos in some form, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the Nick Foles Super Bowl and the Patriots in yet another one. Yeah, the Patriots are in this one too. This was a crazy one. 22 to 12 before halftime. Uh, that's a pretty good scoreboard by NBC. They always have a solid one, like I said. I, I don't think it's better than the previous ones, but they, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, this was a bore fest. This one. And, and, and the CBS still has this crappy scoreboard. They improved it slightly. They just made the font smaller. But yeah, this game, this was the game in Atlanta at the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium, I want to say, 13-3. to I forgot how boring this game was. Look at that, three minutes left in the third quarter, and the score is 3 to nothing. Jared Goff versus Tom Brady, and the Patriots end up winning 13-3. to uh, Moving on to the next one, this was right before the pandemic, I remember. And Jimmy G versus Mahomes. I completely forgot that Mahomes was not having a good game. I mean, it was 20 to 10 fourth quarter, and that's a great scoreboard, though, man. It did, the colors are so vibrant. There's no nonsense to it. It looks good. Fox did a really good job with that one. But yeah, Mahomes ended up coming back, and they won, and Jimmy G had a chance at the end, and he didn't come through. Oh, it's the pandemic Super Bowl, and CBS goes with like the Microsoft, you know, PC graphics. I was, I'm not a fan of these graphics, man. It's just, it looks like a Microsoft, you know, P, desktop PC to me. That, that's, that's what I, the vibe I get from it. I understand you could say, well, it's got the colors, it's got the logos. I don't know, man. The font is a little bit off. But this Super Bowl, it's hard to take this stuff seriously when there's like 5,000 people in the stands because of the pandemic. But yeah, it was a ra- the rare Super Bowl where Tampa Bay actually hosted it you know, at Raymond James Stadium. So Raymond James Stadium got another Super Bowl. This was the Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals with Joe Burrow going on the crazy run that nobody thought the Bengals would go on. I'm not a fan of this at all, man. I, that circle in the middle is just so bad to me. It's it's just a tacky look. I don't know. This is, a, this is NBC's and it's just not my favorite personally. 
And then the most recent Super Bowl, it is Fox. It's kind of like a bully scoreboard. It's just, you know, got massive logos. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. You can see it does have the player stats at the bottom. That's what Fox was doing with uh, uh, college football for the longest time, and then they started doing it with the NFL as well. And it makes sense to always have like the quarterback stats or the running back stats because everyone plays fantasy now in regular season. I, I don't mind the scoreboard. I would improve. I, I would like to see the abbreviations included, but it's fine. You know, it's a clean look. Uh, but either way, guys, that's just kind of going through all the scoreboards, the evolution of them with NBC, CBS, and Fox for the Super Bowl. Here, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.